In this video, we're going to take a look at solving one-step equations using what is called the addition principle. As a preface to this video, several of these problems you might be able to solve in your head without going through the process I want to show you. I do not want you to do them in your head, rather I want you to show your work like I'm illustrating in this video because this is building two more involved problems which require you to master these simple problems first. So let's start some good habits now. Before we dive into the addition principle though, I want to consider the problem x minus 4 equals 7. What we're looking for, what we want to know is what value for x will make this equation a true equation. So to set this up, I want to split the screen in two parts here. On one side, whoops, on one side, we've got this x, but we also have these four negatives. One, two, three, four negatives. And on the other side of the equal sign, on the other side of the equation, we have seven positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven positives. Now we want to solve this equation. We want to know what this x represents. The problem is, is it's got all of these negatives with it. We need to get rid of those negatives so they're not distracting us. And one way we can get rid of a negative, we've seen before, that when a negative is paired with a positive, they'll subtract out to nothing. So let's pair one, two, three, four positives on the left side so they subtract out to nothing, leaving the x alone. Well, if we introduced four positives on the left side of this equation, we want to make sure everything stays balanced and stays the same, so we also are going to introduce four positives on the right side of the equation as well. And what we see is this 1x is balancing with 11, I think that's right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, yes, 11 of these positives. In other words, x is representing the number 11. This is what we want to show as we solve these one-step equations. We're going to balance through the equal sign on every problem, and what's with the x is four negatives. We need to get rid of those four negatives with four positives on each side of the equation. When we do that, the four negatives and four positives will subtract out to zero, leaving just x is equal to seven plus four, or eleven. This means to clear a negative, what we will do is we will add it to both sides of the equation. So for example, if we had the problem x minus 9 equals 4, and we want to know what that x represents, we'll balance through the equal sign, and we want the x alone, so we have to get rid of this minus 9. We get rid of those nine negatives with nine positives on both sides. Nine negatives and nine positives gives us a zero, leaving just x on the left, and four plus nine or thirteen on the right. x equals thirteen. We can verify that this is the correct answer by taking the thirteen and plugging it in for the x. We can check it by saying x minus nine, or thirteen minus nine, does it equal four? Well, yeah, thirteen minus nine is equal to four. It checks, so I know my answer is correct. Let's try one more, where we try and find out what the x is equal to. If we balance through the equal sign, we see the x on the other side, which is just fine. Same pattern, we want to get rid of that negative five, so the x is alone. We get rid of those five negatives with five positives on both sides. When we do that, the five positives and five negatives will subtract out to zero, leaving just the x, and sixteen plus five is twenty-one. x represents twenty-one. Let's check it just to be sure it's right. By plugging the twenty-one in for x, we want to know, does sixteen equal negative five plus twenty-one? Well, sure enough, if we add those together, twenty-one positive is bigger, and when we subtract twenty-one minus five, we get sixteen. It is the value that makes the equation true, we have our answer. We can clear that negative, getting x alone, by adding it to both sides.